Carmen's kind of dizzy. There are so many books here. Not really. There are barely any. Is this a library? This place. This library has existed since long, long before we arrived. Their contents seem to be ancient dramas. How do you know? You haven't picked one up and read it. Children love to read books. So, so do adults, <laughs> but there is much they won't understand, so they will often ask adults to read the stories to them. In the books, where there is an evil dragon, there must be heroes who hunt the dragon. If there is a mage, there must be a wandering knight. The recon reconquista must come to pass, and the princess must be saved. And of course, a chime will sound, and the tale of adventure will come to a halt. Yet it will not end. There will be another adventure, and another, and another one after that, until the children grow up and leave this place. Anne? Huh? I... Sorry. I felt like memories and feelings suddenly flooded into my mind. How strange. Huh. Well, as long as you were right. Parent thought you might have been bewitched by Narcissus's magic or something. Ugh. That might actually be so. Hmm. Well, what do we do next? I'm not sure either. Whatever the case, let's have a look around. Yep. First off... Huh. There's a door right over there, but it looks like there's no way through it. You two should be able to get across. Hey, you're Anne's knight right now, you know? This will all be pointless if you don't come along. That's right. This tile sticks out like a sore thumb. This might be some sort of path. That one doesn't know either, but let's go all the same. Kingdom through the looking glass. Oh my gosh, this is a whole act? Oh, completed, sorry. I follow. Anne's story. Keep moving ahead. Gosh, Primer Gym Central. To obtain the holy blade that might defeat the demon king, the knight broke into the ancient city, sealed using magic. Complete 12 open world time trial challenges. Ah, that surprises even me. My balance, but I think this is pushing it. Is there anywhere in particular I just just forward? There's nowhere else I can explore? Nothing I can click on? No books I can pretend to read? I guess not. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Ow! Oh, really? I, I could have just walked. I, I do have two feet, you know. But okay, you do you. That's a fell shield of Narcissus? Haha. <laughs> The name does fit our adventure up till now, huh? This is the center of the world, the castle where the dragon lurks, the tower that imprisons the princess. Sometimes it is the lost ancient city of Yith, sometimes Arcadia, at times it is even Golden Hyperborea. Here many untrodden realms have been conquered, here many heroes have defeated evil dragons. This is a place that brims with magic, and I was never really able to understand it. Children could see, through a stone in the wall, the imaginary griffins that whirled free in the distant cloud-filled skies. These four pools would, in different adventure tales, be the four seas, and sometimes the four cardinal realms of the world. I couldn't understand these things either, but to accompany the children on their adventures, I played all sorts of roles. Are these more of those suddenly emerging memories? Yes. Hmm. Anne, are you alright? You know, I have a hard- I have a feeling- and maybe Princess Lyris, I'm not gonna lie, I've had this feeling for a while. I don't know, I feel very strange. These memories are so beautiful, but terrifying too. Look, there, atop the fountain. That is the holy blade of Narzus and Kruitz. Is it really? Looks, uh, kinda cheap. Behold, Paimon, the holy blade. Seriously, it's just a shabby wooden sword, still. With a sword in hand, Palmer bets the kids sure felt like invincible heroes, ready to take to the skies and do battle with their enemies, huh? Appropriately shaped branches and drying poles could also, in the right tale, be the holy blade. But she, one day, a certain woman brought several wooden swords for the children to play with so that the drying poles would stop being used in fights. And who was that? I do not know. It must have been someone who once lived here. Yes, it does seem like the kingdom was once a lively place, with all sorts of people in it. It really doesn't. When you think about it like that, the Holy Blade must have been very important. A normal sword could cleave flesh, but the Holy Blade will cleave spirit and will. As such, even impervious dragons and formless illusions are no match for it. 
If a story of our adventure team is to reach its end, we need that blade. Is it really that powerful? It just looks like a cheap wooden sword. Just take its holy list at face value by one. Sure, if you say so, but it doesn't look like we can reach it right now. Let's continue exploring. Maybe we'll find some way to break this magical bubble. I'll have to take your word for it. She's still waiting for us at the end of the line. Hello. I feel like we just missed a whole chunk, but sure. Well, there's creatures from the Fontima here. Is this the Narcissus Kingdom's zoo? Speed of light. This is not. It's just ordinary wildlife. Cut to the chase. I've dealt with plenty of these impetuous creatures before. Every time you blink, more of them show up. You've dealt with them before. As far as treasure is concerned. Whoa, bubble formation? Why would there be bubble formations here? Quick, get behind the pillar. What pillar? This one? I'm stuck. Sucker. Actually, why is there a bubble formation here too? Was this meant to prevent invaders from kidnapping the princess? Yes, that is the case. Also, we ran into some enemies earlier. Didn't you say that when Princess Lyris gave you her treasure, the tower stagnated and even Narcissus could not enter? There's a lot of stuff here that doesn't make sense. What's going on? I don't know either. I never thought about what would happen after we entered the tower. Also, this place feels very strange. I don't understand. I should never have been here before, but I find myself recalling, feeling many things. Do you two not feel it? Nope. I haven't been here before, love. Batman doesn't either. Hmm. Well, do you know what place this is in? This was the assembly hall of the Narcissus and Cruz Institute. The children would study here normally. I remember now. This was a lovely place. There was no sunlight, but it was always lively here. The children were all, all of different dimensions, some of them as different as the two of you. But here, they would study together, listen to the tales of the Hydro Archon, and tales older still. Dimensions? I mean that some children were very small and some were somewhat larger. Hey now, Papa might be small, but she's got a big heart. Anyway, what about the princess? Was she a child too? Were the children hear stories about her? I... I don't know. Huh. Why does women get the feeling that the story starting, started drifting away from the princess ever since we teleported here? No, this place must have something to do with her. We must be able to find her at the end of this road. She'll be happy to see us. Well, you're the local. Palma trusts you. Is she though? Is she the local? She doesn't seem to know much. Let's continue on. Princess Lyris is still waiting for us at the end of the line. You hear the sound of a bell. Oh, there it is. Oh, does that mean the adventure is coming to a close and Princess Lyris is right up ahead? Uh, no. Let's just get the treasure. Ooh, That's hello. Everything. On to a the feather, next. a green feather accessory. Why would anyone put feathers in treasure chests? Do they just wake up one day and decide that on a whim? A very fair question. Paimon's kind of dizzy. There are so many books here. Deja vu, perhaps? Huh, you know, Pamela thought that she hadn't fully woken up yet, but haven't these things happened before? There will be another adventure, and another, and another one after that. So, even though the princess is waiting for us at the end of this road, it's just a bunch of connected loops with no real end? On the other hand, that's different. We'll be able to leave as long as we find the end of the road. <coughs> huh, do you have an idea, Lunara? Any thoughts, Anne? Let's go over what we know first, then. Have you noticed anything, Paimon? Eh? You're asking Paimon? Uh, hold on for a moment. First, the paths here have been connected such that they form a ring, right? In that case, there'd be no getting out. Except that we were able to get on these paths, so there should be a way off them. There has to be a point from which we can break through. 
Next, we saw that super powerful sword or something. Yes, the Holy Blade of Nazis and Cruz. It should be a key item in some way. And why do you think that? Well, it looks like a wooden sword, but it was inside a protective barrier. Would all that trouble be necessary if it wasn't important? So Paimon thinks that what we need to get thinks that we need to get that sword. Was there any other notable thing? Uh Paimon can't remember can't think of anything at the moment. With that said, this tower sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? Paimon didn't just make that one up, by the way. When we passed this way before, it did feel weird how this tile was not connected to the others and how it has a different pattern. I'm more concerned, concerned about the way it's pulsating. It could be a trap. That's what I was thinking as well. Good work, Paimon. Wait, why are you prizing Paimon so seriously all of a sudden? Paimon's not used to this. But you really do have an impressive mind, Paimon. As for me, my head's a mess. I can't get my thoughts straight. Don't beat yourself up too much. You're being assaulted by strange memories in this place. Anyway, let's think of how we can get out of a sloop based on the stuff we thought of earlier. I don't find that helpful at all. I suppose we've got to get through here. But this time there are two, so, you know, we are making progress. Oh, whoopsies. And get the other one. Ah, the green feather accessory. Random, but I'll take it. Jabberwock's holy sword. Wait, what's this? Do I just keep going? I want to go that way or that way, but I guess we gotta go this way. <laughs> Am I supposed to be killing these crabs? Is there some secret that I do not know about because I'm not killing them? Oh my god, everything's duplicating. It's two of everything Can now. Make yourselves at home. Why is Paimon saying Just the same thing? Like, she knows Don't it's huh? repeating huh? and yeah. ends with it as well. <laughs> so why are they all uh, having the same Feet dialogue? It's <laughs> weird. Really weird. Not bad. As far as treasure is concerned. You can continue giving me primogems for it, though. That works for me. Oh, shit. Oh, they're not attacking me. I thought there was going to be two of those, but nope. <laughs> Hello? I recall there was a chest. chest this time but this time I have a sword Pum's kind of dizzy there are so many books here someone wants this tale of adventure to never end eh what do you want about Lenara huh, you know what Pum thought that Jen fully working up blah 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 the future of a story that constantly repeats will never come but we must keep moving forward yes Princess Lyris waits at the end of this path Ooh, Paimon knows. Last time we were here, you said, on the other hand, we'll be able to leave as long as we find the end of the road, didn't you? And there must be a way. So what do I do with the sword now? And actually, this is different, because didn't we come by that path last time? And now we came via this path? Or am I just going crazy? It's entirely possible. But now there's going to be three of everything! There's going to be three crabs waiting for us. So what do I do here now, though? Do I put the sword in? You know, sword on the stone style? 
No? We just do nothing and pretend to move on? Okay. We don't try to unlock any of these doors? Okay. If you say so. Yeah, three crabs. Bye crabs. Good grief. Oh, alt isn't up. Yes, it's gonna get messy. To ashes! Don't blink! Hey! Nowhere to hide! As treasure is concerned. Hey, turn on this one. Oh no, we keep coming out the same side. Sorry, I just read the map. We definitely keep coming out the same side because it's a square. Like this keeps moving. Well, we achieved nothing extra. Which is unfortunate. I must have missed something. Nothing's changed. What do I do with the sword? I've, I've missed something in that room with the shell. Because we're back, I don't even have to open the door because it's still open from last time. Because I missed something. I don't know what though. Can I equip the sword? It obviously has something to do with this room, but what? I don't know what to do. Is it a gadget I can equip? It's gonna be a quest item, isn't it? Which means I can't do anything with it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm missing something in this room. Shall I just kill the crabs? I don't. <laughs> I don't know what to do. This. This has no interaction. It does not exist. Wait, there's only one crab. <coughs> Where did the other two go? Ooh, don't fall. Son of a bitch. Why was there only one crab? Makes no sense. I'm gonna check everywhere now because I don't know what to do that's different. Anything here? Nope. Of course, they're already dead. Because I already killed them. Anything I can do here? Nope. I may just have to Google this. I don't quite know what to do. And now we're back down to two. The numbers aren't adding up anymore. Sometimes that's really long and sometimes that's really short. Hold on. 
Am I supposed to be going backwards, maybe? Seems like a dumb suggestion. That's just going to cause me to uh, spend more time, but... Can we go backwards? Well, that just disappeared, which is interesting. I solved my own problems. Who needs Google? Obtain the Holy Blade of Nuzzes and Cruz. So we just need to get there? Okay. Is this going to be a prettier version? Uh. Strangely, the feather was used before what? This is the Holy Blade of Nazis and Kuz. Hee hee, finally, the Holy Blade is ours. Doesn't look like much, but once its powers are awakened, it will become a destructive and invincible weapon. How is it, Lenara? Can you feel its power? Uh, this really just is a wooden toy sword. <laughs> Come to think of it, Anne, you did mention that the Holy Blade was originally a wooden sword that kids played with. That's right. When the young heroes from the Nazis and Cruz adventure team would pick up, pick the sword up, they would become able to defeat all foes in their tail. Well, let's just take the sword, shall we? Who knows? It might come in handy later. And if not, we can take it as a souvenir. Am I going forwards or backwards? Go on with the help of the Holy Blade's power. I guess I was supposed to do that on the second round. Whoops. Oh no, on the third round, sorry. Oh wait, was I supposed to go backwards? Oh, blast. I'm going this way now. I think I need to get back to the original room. Am I supposed to take this? Nah. <laughs> Come this way. Excuse me. It it kind of very confused. It all brings me back here. <laughs> Fine. I'll interact with the damn thing. <laughs> Open the path forward. How did the blade do that? Isn't that just a time loop the whole way through? What's the fourth one look like? Looks like the path leads downward rather than forward. This is a really long descent. It's so creepy. Do worry, Anne. Lunara's really reliable and really good with the wind glider too. Ah, Pama knows. You're worried about what might come afterward, right? Well, don't be. A real adventure is not only filled with the challenges, but also with unknowns. The most important thing is to come back from completing these challenges and unknowns in one piece and gain something in the end as well. Isn't that right, Lenora? We've come as far. It would be a shame to give up now. You did say that Princess Lyris would be just up ahead. True. I believe in you, Knight Lenora, and in Paimon. You are wise and powerful, and you are also kind to people. And ding, 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 we have a winner. In that case, let's go. At Astra Abbasask, as Catherine always says. Okay, let's try to plummet to our death. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it would be safe to glide. Yeah, it auto glided me. Woof. Eh. Hmm. Probably feels like something should happen right about now. I feel uneasy too, and I've been frightened ever since we came down here. No need to worry. Lunara will protect us no matter what, right? 
Of course I will. Yes, I believe in the two of you. I just don't know what we will encounter later. We'll take anything as it comes. Still, best to be prepared, Lenara. We might be in for a battle with Narcissus for all we know. Yeah, I dare say that's gonna happen. Dragon. They name it Narcissus. I see everything. Excuse me, can you just whoosh, slow down for a sec? Share my knowledge. Speed of light. <laughs> can you come down here again? Some of us are not that blessed. Hi. Don't blink. Hey. Are we going to go through all the friends we've killed thus far? Just remember we didn't have any crabs. Or cranes. Everyone hold hands! Eyes on me! Incoming! Totally just jumped Don't in blink. my ability. Rude. I see everything. Make yourselves at home. Speed of light. Completely missed it. Uh, do I want to go on these? No, no, I really don't. Use fitful rappers. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Oh, this one. Okay, I mistook the last ones for this one. Hello? One step back, two fall, wind, hear me. I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use it. How am I supposed to kill you when you just keep dancing around like an idiot? don't care about the damage and just go in okay fair enough so why did we meet Narcissus in here according to what we said before the tower lost its time and thus stagnated as such no one can open it or enter it but this space is not within the tower we teleported to a different place from the tower huh that's right I haven't forgot that that happened but if that's the case but how no that can't be true the princess should be in the tower I mean, that was the adventure team's only hope in this dark world. If she isn't... Adventures, their meaning. Al, Petitu, and the others. And... We did take out the biggest threat to the kingdom, didn't we? That's a good thing, right? Yes, you're right, Paimon. Thank you. Thank you both. Anyway, the story's not over. Yep, look over there. There's a place we haven't been to before. Maybe we'll find more clues there, huh? Maybe, maybe not. You give, you receive. Rather aged notes. One serving of flour, one of sugar, one of melted butter, two of eggs, a large amount of milk which with which to make foam. Are you kidding me? What exactly is a large amount? <laughs> Remember it well this time. 15 minutes at 180 degrees is not the same as 5 at 540. <laughs> I tell you, burn shit. Linking up with Ingold, Guillotine, and the rest of the old game will go some way towards solving this dispersion problem. The situation is no place for personal feelings, but what person can lack them completely? I can only hope that they aren't treating my dear Sponsion too poorly or let it rust in the harbour and I hope my skills haven't rusted away either I hope all goes well I still want to watch the dough rise to the sounds of play outside the window I still want to watch them go into fine adults decided to incorporate the institute for raising orphans and the children of criminals into the public welfare system considering the ruins of a previous civilization upon which it is situated it shall be named 
The seat of director was established in honor of the Hydro Archon's great virtue and has been taken on by a gentle named Oceanid. Nature, sorry, Oceanid. The title of vice director is to be taken up by one who displays exceptional moral quality and ability. That's not very helpful. This, the duty will be taken up by Basil Elton, a former naval commander. May her steely wait, Basil's a female. There is a lot of gender confusion in this game. Basil has always and will always be a male name. Her steely temper, by, be itself tempered by the family she will establish with these children going forward. What's the idiot thinking? Well, whatever. Might as well have some fun post-retirement. According to the ancient theater and mysterious research hidden here, we believe that documents and folklore are discovered within Petrocore. The research team from Institute of Natural Philosophy holds that. Doesn't seem anything relevant. <laughs> Let's look over there instead, shall we, Lunar? Hmm, there's a book too. A picture book, huh? Suits you, Paimon. <laughs> Well, that's because of Paimon's unique sensibility, you know. Picture books just speak to her better. This book, this book gives me a strange feeling. Let Paimon see. A long, long time ago, in a place far, far away, there was a once a beautiful and kind princess named Lyris. And yep, she's our main character. I didn't want this name. That's not what you said before. Do you want to read it too, Anne? In that case, Paimon's going to continue. <clears throat> Oh, come on. It's just a story. There's no need to be so fussy. Anyway, a protagonist needs an antagonist. An evil one at that. And our evil antagonist? Well, that's the dragon Narcissus. So evil is he that the peace-loving people tremble at the sound of his name. Not that he cares about their feelings, though. He sowed destruction across the land with the searing flames he spewed from his mouth. His great wings turned cities to dust and his burning breath reduced nations to ash. At last, only the princess's realm remained safe. But because the princess worked tirelessly to defend her realm, Narcissus's plot to destroy everything could not succeed. So in Narcissus's story, I'm the evil villain. This is kind of weird. This sounded like a storybook, but it also feels like it isn't. Lenora, you've got the bigger brain here. You have a look too. Read carefully. Oh no. What am I getting myself into? Uh oh. Uh oh. Can you tell me... Please tell me it's animated. Huh? What? Oh dear. We fell into the book. What is this place? It's very pretty. <laughs> this is the real Anapalsis. They did mention sunflowers. 